Hey guys, it is the Spider Monkey 232 here, and I'm coming back at you with another um, episode in the series How to Make Lego Bases. And I believe this is episode 6 in the series, and today we're going to be talking about building roofs. So let's just get right into it. As you can see here, I have built um, just a simple design of a, a very, very, very simple base. And what we're doing today is uh, making a roof to put on this. So, as you can see, this is like a type of base um, that I covered in episode one. So, you know, just go check that out if you're not familiar with this. You know, you just stack up bricks on top of each other and then put tiles on here. This is the next step is the putting tiles. So, you know, just simple tiles. You want to put it all along the top to create a nice, flat, smooth surface. And next, you're gonna wanna take a bunch of plates. It doesn't really matter what size they are, but you're gonna wanna take a bunch of them and kinda connect them together. And after a couple minutes, you'll, I mean, this is just very, um, I guess, uh, crew design, but you'll come up with something like this. You know, I just added in some extra detailing. And also keep in mind that this is mainly Star Wars bases that I'm going to be covering rather than like, uh, let's say Lego City or something like that. We're going to be covering the sci-fi kind of bases. So, this is what I came up with. Just add some extra detail. So, you know, the flat tiles is so you can just basically set it on there. Now what you're also going to want to do is on the bottom, you're going to want to put plates and kind of just stick them on into the four corners or whatever your, your dimensions are so that when this sticks on there this acts like a little bumper and it keeps it from moving so it's just it's nice and firm on there and stuck which you know so you don't accidentally slide it off you can just kind of pull it on and off which is helpful so that's basically one of the main ways to add a roof you know and then you can add different designs on the top like I did here or whatever you know you can expand this more out and both ways one way you know whatever you want to do it's the beauty of this so I'm just giving you some tips on the roofs so that's the first way to do it for just a standard you know block kind of base now the next one that we have is for the curves so in the first curving video that I did, I think it was the last episode, so episode five that I did was on curving. So if you want to go check that out, I'll try to put a link either on the screen or in the description so that you can go check that out on how to do it. Basically, we're just moving on from there. And as you can see, I got like the, the curve on there and then the tiles. Now, the only new thing that we're adding is we're adding tiles on the top. So you're going to add little one by two flat tiles on each of these things all the way around. And then as on ugh, as well on, on the rest of the base, so right here. If you wanna keep doing it, that'd be great. But I, it doesn't really matter because this is just uh, demonstration purposes. I'm not trying to make it look perfect or anything. Just kind of showing you what it, kind of how it works. So, got tiles right here just to kind of set on the thing or the, I guess the roof. Now, as you can probably see, since the, we have a curve, it's kind of hard to just set plates on because you don't have a great curve. I mean, some plates you do, but it's gonna be kind of hard to do that. So you have to use a, a technique called SNOT, which is just an acronym for Stun Snot on Top. And basically, it is just putting the bricks on their side. So I, Put something together just something very little slight nothing too great nothing too big but here it is now as you can see there's it's just hollowed out i could have kept building inside but for demonstration purposes i just left it alone so as you can see i put on a bunch of bricks on their side so it's like this normally just stand up but then you flip it over on its side so you can kind of just rest it on there like so and then I had to use some slopes to kind of curve with the base 
Now, as you can see, this doesn't look the best. It, it kind of goes with it, but it's not the best I could have done. But um, you just want to basically play around with it and try to get your slopes to kind of go with the base, you know. You might need to take something off here and add in like a more steep of a slope or less steep to kind of fit the curve of the base. And then obviously you're going to want to fill in this so that it's nice and compact and it'll fit nicely, you know. And you can start adding on other stuff on top of it like what I, with what I did here on top of that. Which will look nice with your curved bases. So, yep, just wanted to cover that. And that is it for this episode of Roofs. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give this big video a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Also, go check out episode 5 on curving if you would like to know how to do that as well. Uh, thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.